Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial on rotating shapes around a circle in Illustrator. There are two ways to do this. I've done one in a previous video. This was inspired by a reader who asked me if I would do it this way because it's the way that you would want to rotate shapes if you want the pieces to rotate as they go, such as for dials, or as we're going to see, a series of stars that turn as they are being rotated. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's just have a look and see what it is that we're trying to do. Well, what we're trying to do is to achieve this result where we rotate a single shape around a circle and the shape itself rotates as well as moving. If we use the process that I did in an earlier video, which is actually linked in the description of this video using blends, when we get this effect, so these are the effects that we would get with a blend. I'm actually just going to reselect the blend here because there's a couple of options here, neither of which works well. So let's reselect the blend, turn preview on, and this is the other option. You see that we get something that's left over at the end. So we have some options here, but they're not going to work work particularly well. And of course, if we have a star, then we're going to see an obvious problem here if we want the bend in the star to appear facing inwards all the way around the circle. So let's go and see this alternative method of creating shapes that are placed around a circle, but so that they rotate at the same time. I'm just going to create a brand new document. This is 600 by 600 pixels, but it doesn't matter what size it is. I'm going to select the ellipse tool, hold the shift key down because I'm going to create a circle and this is the circle around which I want my shapes to rotate. I'm just using this as an indicator. It's just a helpful way of making sure that my shapes are going to rotate. But what I really do need more than anything is actually a really small shape in the middle here. So I'm just going to turn the fill off on this shape and I'm going to create a small circle in the middle, again holding the shift key down and I'm going to make sure that these two circles are directly on top of each other so they share a center point. So I'm just going to click here to make sure that I have a line to selection selected. I'm just going to horizontally align their centers and then click here to vertically align their centers. So these are right on top of each other. This one's going to give me the guide as to where the center is because it's really hard to pick the center otherwise in Illustrator. So let's go and create our star. So I'm just going to select my star tool. I'm going to click to create it because I want a fairly small inner radius so that's a little bit easier for us to see exactly what's going on here. So I'm going to set that at eight pixels. It's a five pointed star. So I'm just going to click OK. And let's fill the star with a color and let's remove the stroke from it. OK, so I'm just going to move my star down so that it is it's got its little feet on the border of this larger circle because that's the circle I want to rotate it around. The inner circle is going to give me my rotation point. So with my star selected, I'm going to click here on the Rotate tool. Once it is selected, the next thing I need to do is to move this little indicator in the middle of the star down to here. And the way I do that is to hold my mouse over this center point. And what I'm looking for is the indicator for center to appear. In other words, I'm over the center of this shape. And I'm going to Alt click because that's going to move the rotation point for this star into that position. Now, I already have preview turned on here, so we won't have preview turned on necessarily because that's the way Illustrator works. It doesn't have preview turned on, but I'm going to turn preview on. And now I'm going to determine how many shapes I want around the circle or what the rotation is going to be. Now, if I want 15 shapes, for example, I can just type 360 divided by 15. And then Illustrator is going to do the math for me. So I'm just going to click here for copy. And now my first star is created. All I need to do now is to press Control D. That's Command D on the Mac a number of times until this star rotates and is copied the number of times that I need to have it appear around my shape. And you can see that its little feet in each instance are sitting on the outside of that circle. So the rotation is what we want it to be. Now this circle's playing no part in this except for illustrative purposes, so we don't need that at all. We don't need the center one anymore either. We're really only using that as a way of easily finding that rotation point. So I'm just going to delete that. So there are my stars rotated 
in a circle, but in this case with all their little feet pointing in towards the center. And if I did that with a line, I'm going to have the exact same effect. So if you want to see that at work, you can continue to watch. If you've got the technique, you're ready to go. So let's just go and create our line. So I'm just going to create a short vertical line. No fill, it's got a stroke. I'm just going to increase the stroke. Now you might use this, for example, for a dial or for a gauge. So again, let's just click on the ellipse tool. I can just create a small circle if I'm not really too fussed about the actual circle I'm going around. I'm just going to create a small circle here and let's just take the stroke down to something a little bit easier to see. But I do want the horizontal centers of these two shapes to be aligned. So I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to select horizontal align center. Don't want to align their centers vertically because I don't want them to be on top of each other, but I just want to make sure that this one is directly in line with this one here. So let's go and select our bar shape and now we need to rotate it. So I'm going to click the rotate tool. I'm going to hold my mouse over the middle of this circle here and alt click or option click as soon as I find the center point, as soon as it says center. And now let's go for our angle. This time let's just rotate them 10 degrees. So I've got my preview turned on. I'm just going to click copy. And then Control or Command D, the number of times I need to rotate this shape all the way around the circle. And then when I'm done, I no longer need my center marker, so I can just delete it. So there's a way of creating markers for a dial or a series of stars whose little feet all point into the shape or all point in the direction of the inside of this shape. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.